All right, we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Houston Business Podcast. My name is James J. And today I am joined by my man, David Lovelace, fitness, nutrition, body expert extraordinaire. Uh, I don't know what other adjective I could come up for uh, for you, David, but you are an absolute, uh, really, you are just so intelligent when it comes to, to, to the body and the mind and muscles and all this stuff. So I am excited to have you on and share uh, some of your knowledge with people today. How are we doing today, brother? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me on. It's good, it's man. So we have a very long uh, history um, for people that that, that don't know. Uh, David was my trainer a few years, and my wife. You trained us uh, a few years ago together, uh, and we were doing. This is actually around the time when my wife was actually trying out for the Texans. Right, she was trying to shred, and David is the one that to help us do that. So she brought me drug drug me along with me with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was not voluntary. <laughs> he dragged me along. But that is where we started. That's probably been, gosh, like four or five years ago now. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. It's been a while. And uh, yeah. and then we've just uh, recently reunited. And uh, now you are, are working out my entire family uh, since since COVID. So uh, I want people to, to kind of get a little bit about your background. Uh, we got to talk a little bit about the, the bodybuilding because you are a bodybuilder. Um, yes. And uh, so let kind of start back. So what actually got you into this, this whole fitness space to begin with? Because you've been doing this for a long time. They're probably, probably you're, I'm assuming probably at this point, your, your entire life, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. If you looking back from when I started, yes, it's pretty much been a part of my entire life. Mm -hmm. uh, just started uh, at a certain age doing, you know, the research and the homework yeah. to improve the man you see uh sitting here before you <laughs> yeah so but knowledge is power man that knowledge helped out a lot but you put it into action so people say knowledge is power all right you can read all you want like i could sit on my couch all day long and read about what i'm supposed to eat right and then order a pizza with a brookie from domino's not that i know what that is <laughs> but you got to put it into action obviously so where you know let's say were you athlete in high school football basketball any sports Back in the day before? Yeah. Yeah. So in high school, it was mostly about basketball, football. I ran track and field. Okay. I was also a gymnast where shortly after that, I, I ended up coaching gymnastics for, for nine years. So gymnastics wow. was a really good base to right. lead to, to other things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and then I started bodybuilding back in 2003. And that just like showed me a different perspective on nutrition yeah. you know i i was god has blessed me with good genetics and right. i thought that i can go off sheer genetics yeah but then i wasn't doing as well so right. then once i started to really tie the nutrition into it i saw the best results and i was like yep. whoa this this is this is golden so then i started doing more research more studying i got more certifications on on nutrition just to further my knowledge right i mean <laughs> there is so much out there you can never know enough yeah. And I hate yeah, to be that guy that doesn't have the right answer. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, especially when it comes to the body. So, you know, I know a lot of people try to, and I really want you to hammer this home because this has so much of, uh, of an impact on every single person living, right. The nutrition. Some people try to outwork the nutrition, right. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I know it's not possible. What do you tell people when it comes to, you know, people say 80, 20, um, but just the importance of the nutrition, and then I want you to also talk about how that actually impacts stress levels, right? Because I'm in an extremely stressful business in the mortgage industry. Um, and one of the most stressful things that people do in their life, or one of the most stressful things that happens to people in their life, uh, you got death, divorce, moving, like buying a home is a stressful event. And so this is what I've done now for 20 years in the real estate mortgage business. Uh, but I want you to kind of talk about the nutrition, um, how that factors into obviously it, we, uh, people know and I, actually let me back that up i want sh i shouldn't say obviously right yeah people know but i want you to talk about the nutrition what like how much that is is impacting stress levels and cortisol and all that stuff that plays into uh our really it's every everybody's life essentially all right well it it starts with understanding your lifestyle mm -hmm. that's the first step 
Yeah. Because there's there's usually three levels to it. There is a sedentary, semi-sedentary, and active. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, based off of your lifestyle, meaning your job, which which really consume most of your life, even though yeah. you may work a nine to five, yeah. it always goes outside of that because you always have to think outside the box to improve whatever job that is you're doing. So For it's sure. yeah. your whatever job that you do is a part of your life. And it's really a full time job, not yeah. just uh, a nine to five. So you have to tie into that. So, for example, the difference between someone that's a nurse that's on their feet most of the time mm -hmm. versus someone that's a web designer that's sitting down in front of a computer all day. Yeah. All right. That's we take that in consideration. Then yeah. you find out your sleep pattern. All right. Mm, so okay. all these things tie into how much stress you're physically putting on the body and how much rest and recovery you're, you're doing after all of that. Right. Once we figure that out, then we start tying into the foods. Now you tie into the foods based off of you know, if you're looking for more energy, you're looking for to build muscle, you're looking to alleviate stress. Yep. You start taking you start taking that route. And I'm telling you, I have people do it with taking it one step at a time until they figure it out because people know, but then when you come with the education and overwhelm them with stuff, they're like, ah, I'm just gonna stick to whatever it's it is. Too hard. Yeah, people just kind of right. get to it's and, too much. And that, and like, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> right. And then that's another level of stress they have to deal yeah. with. So yeah. you, you see where I'm I'm going here with this, that it all yeah. and at the end of it, it all leads back to stress. And seeing that the body doesn't differentiate between mental and physical stress, right. that stress still releases that chemical hormone called cortisol, yeah. which literally breaks the muscle tissue down and makes you store fat. Now we still need cortisol for general function. It's right. just that when you have high, high elevated levels of stress. That's mm -hmm. where it works against you, all right? And yep. high, having high elevated levels of stress can also, and this is uh, Harvard research that has shown that it can mess with your testosterone, which is a king mm -hmm. hormone. Now, when people think testosterone, they're thinking, oh, it's, the, it's for muscle building. Yes, right. that's what it's primarily for, but there are other functions in the body that require the assistance of uh, testosterone. So yeah. when you're, you're doing something to mess with your testosterone, you're already failing. And I mean, it's it's hurting it's hurting guys on a certain level, but it hurts women even more because they're naturally lower on testosterone versus the men. That's why it, it, another thing too, it's it's a little bit easier for men to put on muscle versus women. So right. understanding how to balance out your stress is going to be key, and that goes with your lifestyle. <laughs> and, and just like how you say your the job that you do, I mean, it's a twenty four hour twenty four seven job. Yeah, that you have to have to deal with. So when you 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 there's really no clock out time because even after that, especially with technology, what you get you get a text, you get an email. Yeah, you know, or sometimes you have some of them that really try to test you and try to call you past 10 p.m. You're like, nah, you know better. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah. again, so un, uh, understanding that. So my ap approach to it is once you figured all that out, find your niche. That's where we were talking about the 80 20. Yes. Where eighty percent of the time you're you're doing the right thing, and twenty percent do whatever you want. Because yeah. guess what? That's going to help keep you mentally sane. Because I don't care who you are, we're not robots. No one goes a hundred percent eating a clean, healthy lifestyle. Right. I don't care who you are. No, uh, nobody does that. Uh, and for those that do, kudos to you because I've never met anyone <laughs> that, that, that could do that. Right. Uh, so it's going to mentally keep you sane. Two, it's going to also challenge your metabolism. The good thing about the human body is that it adapts. The bad thing about the human body is that it adapts. So you right. need to do little things yeah. here and there to change it up. Just like how you change up your food, you need to change up your workout. So that 80-20 is a perfect thing to where, again, you're doing right by yourself, doing the yeah. right thing, and then 20% do whatever you want. Because those times which you throw your body off, it's a challenge to get back to the normal state that you're doing every day. So that's yeah. a good thing. And uh, obviously, you, you you know, the, the base of my training is leading up to the steps to do that. So first, yeah. unfortunately, you have to accomplish that lifestyle and then you add everything on else to it. Because when you try to do both at the same time, it becomes pretty difficult. And then yeah. people don't get the results as fast as they want them to. And then guess what? They give up. They and then stop. when they give up, that's another. I mean, everything add, yeah. ties into no, no. stress. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a big it old. Is, everything effect. ties into stress. Stress mm -hmm. is the biggest silent killer. I yeah. have a client of mine. He he's a, a cancer patient. I mean, he's a he's a a doctor, a physician yeah. for uh, cancer, 
And he says that they try their best to have their their uh, patients do things to help alleviate stress because when they have high level high elevated levels of stress, it makes the cancer grow. Yeah. You know, so that right there should already tell you, man, stress leads to negative results. Yeah. So having things to help alleviate your stress is good. Uh, everyone's going to be stressed. Yes. So yes. there, it's it's unavoidable, but there are ways to deal with it. And there's a step-by-step -step process that I show people on how to tackle it. So yeah. that it becomes part of their life. So it's not a daily task. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. Because I'll tell you this, as human beings, the more tasks you give us, the more excuses we'll find not yeah. to do them. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's healthy levels of stress. Like I said, everybody has it. There's a healthy level of it. But then I think I would, I would say, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm not a doctor, but most people are probably on the other side of the of the healthy level of stress. They're on oh, the yeah. unhealthy side, right? Oh, because yeah. everybody's always, like you, you mentioned, we're always a text message. Phones constantly, constantly, constantly uh, being, you know, um, being, uh, I'm not bothered, that's a bad word, but, um, you know, there's constant stimulation, whether it's a, a Facebook, Instagram, text message. I mean, it's constant. And so, um, that's why I wanted you to talk about it because I, I talk about this a lot when, whenever I do like a group fitness class, I just try to tell people just focus for 50 minutes. Don't yes. worry about anything else, right? Put your phone away. Just try and focus. Cause it's, it's hard. It is very hard in this, in the world we live in right now, and especially going with everything we got going on right now, people being more at home than, than normal. Uh, it's, it's even more difficult. So I can imagine that the clients that you're working with and not everybody, yeah. but a lot of them are well, maybe experience a little bit more stress than normal. Well, unfortunately, and you can do the numbers, look it up. Uh, unfortunately, we are at the highest numbers for suicide rates in the mm -hmm. history of yeah. the United States. Yeah. Which is, yeah. which is, 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 is very sad. Yep. And where do you think that's coming from? That's coming from stress. Yes, you think it's coming out of thin air. Oh, I'm just going to take my life. Yeah. No, that's yeah. stress building up. And sometimes it's people not knowing how to deal yes. with the stress. Yes. You know, and it, it gets bottled up and there there's only one way. And yeah. you know how that goes. You know? so yeah. So again, I mean, uh, th there was a, oh, another study. This, I noticed, uh, I was watching the news and this was right after the Super Bowl. Uh, not this Super Bowl that just passed, but the, mm -hmm. the year before that. And there was a doctor that came on and she said that 80% of New Year's resolutions uh, stop going to the gym February 1st. Yeah. Because they yeah. they have unrealistic goals and then they try to fit it into a schedule that doesn't seem realistic. And then they have to deal with that stress and becomes too stressful to handle. So guess what? They They give it up and then they go back to the comfort foods, which puts even more weight on them because they're stressed and they want to eat. Oh, these little sweet treats here, sweet treats there, because it gives them comfort. But guess yeah. what? They're slowly putting on the fat. And then it's like a, a, a double whammy where they're getting the sugar to store the fat. And then they're getting the elevated stress to store more fat. So and, and it, it can only, let's say someone puts on just, just half a pound right. uh, a, a month, half a pound a month. A year goes by, that's six. That's six pounds. But then three years goes by, you put on 18 unwanted pounds on, you're like, how this, and I'm yeah. telling you, it's going to be really hard to, to get that weight off because guess what? That was stress weight. Yeah. That was stress weight that you slowly put on, and it is hard to get rid of. And uh, it's usually that tire that we get around our body yeah. uh, uh, where, where a, yeah. a lot of that visceral fat happens right. to sit and re resonate. And then uh, when you have too much visceral fat in that area, uh, a chemical is released that destroys your testosterone. Got it. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So, I mean, since COVID started back in March, um, you know, I know you are uh, doing a lot of um, obviously you, you come to, to my house and you've been training my my entire family um, for the last few months, which is awesome. So um, I know a lot of people are not going back to gyms and things like that. Uh, how has business changed for you since that time? Because I know you're doing a lot of uh, group fitness things. You're doing a lot of one-on-ones. I mean, like I said, for us, you do my family. How is that going? And um, any tips that you can kind of give people that maybe, because again, 
since this whole thing has, and it's it's an ongoing thing with with uh, with COVID and the this that they talk about a domino effect. That's like the, the biggest domino effect I've I've seen in my forty yes. years of life is what's been going on since March and how it's affecting yeah. pretty much every. There's no one that's not affected by this. But I, I talk to people and I hear stories about different things and how this has affected you know kids' baseball games where the parents can't go or just so many different yeah. things. But, um, just like for, for you business wise, um, how have you been working with clients since, you know, since the COVID has hit? Cause I know you're doing a lot of in-person stuff now. Right. Well, first I, first I went on, I think it was Instagram and on uh-huh. Facebook. I know for sure it was, was Facebook. I, I don't know if I did on Instagram and I was real with everyone. I was like, look, I'm reaching out to those that really can't leave your house. Right. COVID's got you, uh, all uh stressed out and you need to do something active you can reach out to me i do zoom calls for and i'm telling you i'm doing zoom training in, yeah. in different states you know which is awesome oh i mean that's the great thing about technology so i'm doing yeah, yeah doing in, in different states yes i do uh i do run a boot camp outdoors mm-hmm. and then if i do happen to go to a client's house it's either in the backyard or in the garage you know yeah. where you know we can still practice social distancing uh, cause I, my daughter has special needs. So I have to be very careful. She's at high risk. So I can't, you know, I, I can go out and I'll be all right, but you know, I'm really afraid what I, I will take home to her. So I have to be very careful and very clean in, in my approach. So as that, uh, as that part of my life, yes, business has been okay. God is good. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. Yeah. I get on my knees every night and pray and he's, he's been, uh, taking good care of me. So, yeah. uh, I, just as long as I do right by people. Yes. So the the the, uh, the three ways that I've basically been doing out of boot camp, training in uh, if I do at home is in the backyard or the garage, or yeah. we're doing Zoom training. And right. I, I've been doing that with nutrition as well too. It's a difference where like if I were to email someone or even just talk over the phone, but when you get to visually do it with someone, you see facial expression, you hear yeah. tone. I mean, it's just so much more engaging when you Absolutely. do things from video. So uh, I'm very grateful that technology has stepped up their game to where I can still provide for my family. Yeah, I'm gonna share with people some of this with, uh, with um, oh, if I can get it to come up here. Um, oh. I was gonna show some of the, uh, can you even see that? I don't know if you yes, can. Yes, I can see. Um, that was just from my Instagram. So I know you do a lot of workouts and you share a lot of this stuff. Now I want to know with some of the, uh, some of the workouts that you come up with, uh, that you personally do. Cause I look at some of the stuff you do and I'm like, <laughs> how in the world do you come up with some of this stuff? Um, some of these workouts, cause you got to get creative. Do you get creative just to right. maybe keep the, keep well, the, the boredom and just to challenge people, you know, in different ways. Cause you definitely challenged well, me. <laughs> well, what I did is I learned from other people. Right. And what I do is I take from other people. And if I see any deviations in whatever exercise they're doing, right. I formulate it to where it doesn't break anyone's posture and it's safe. Right. Because some of these movements I see people do, I'm like, wow, that looks crazy. But it gave me an idea. And I would take their idea and mold it and shape it into my own so that it's fun and safe. Okay. Because that's the that's the number one golden rule. I mean, when you're training someone, ideally you're working them out to make sure you're you're that second eye giving them, you know, proper form and technique. Because it happens to me too. We're again, we're not robots. So sometimes, you know, uh it happens, especially when we get more fatigued. The more fatigued yeah. you get, you're more thinking yeah. about just finishing the move just versus proper form and technique. Oh, so that's something, right? So, right. So coming towards the end, that's something I I, I coach my clients to be like, hey, you know, I, I get it, you're tired, but please focus on the form and technique. If you've got to yeah. drop the weight, if you've got to slow down your pace, do it because you're still going to get the results and you're going to get there in a safe way because you're just one injury away on a setback. That yeah. might that may mess you up for life or just discourage you. And guess what? That leads to another stress. Right. Yeah. So for uh anybody that is um first of all looking for 
personal training, uh, nutrition, like you are like one of the most intelligent people I've ever met when it comes to thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the nutrition aspect. And, you know, again, everybody's got to learn their self because we're not all the same. We don't all operate the nope. same. I get it. Um, you got to figure out what, but this is the thing for me. I guess I'm in the health and fitness space. I love working out, but there's just so much stuff that I don't even know, right? That you have challenged me personally with knowing and really paying attention to my, my body um, um, for sure. Um, and then really focusing on the nutrition and, and listen, like figuring out what, what is it that either, you know, you, you for me, it's, it's like a switch for me, it's, it's sugar, right? I have a thing with sugar. So um, I know it's the comfort food. Now, fortunately, I have good genes as well, and I work my butt off. But I understand, like long term, like I can't keep doing, like doing, doing the, the sugar, especially sugar. Sugar is terrible, um, yes. in, in mass amounts of it. So, for anybody, first of all, I got your information up here um, on Instagram. I just show some of the stuff that you're doing. His email is there now. One of the other things I know you recently started doing a lot of is is TikTok. Yes. Now, I want to tell tell people, how did TikTok come about? Is this your daughter that got you into this? <laughs> because I know when you started talking about it, I'm like, for you and what you do, like, I think TikTok is freaking awesome because health and fitness, it needs to start at that age where those TikTokers are. Yeah, yeah. So how's well, the I, response been since you've been on TikTok? What kind of response have you it's been, been It's been pretty good. Uh, yeah. Most of my, the stuff that I put on there is, it's got a decent amount of views, but uh -huh. then I have one, one that's that's had like 1.6 million views, which is awesome. Right. right. Uh, there are others they they range in like the uh, the 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 lower twenty thousands, which right. is fine. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that was and that just from that one has been getting volume from uh, other people to to view everything else. Right. Uh, so tick TikTok has been been pretty good. Uh, very fun. Very entertaining. Yes. And obviously the young people are on there. <laughs> and I was actually surprised to get a few because I threw my age up there. I told everyone, yeah, I'm 43 doing all this right. stuff. And uh, they were pretty impressed with what I was doing at the age of 43. And, and I was reassuring them like, hey, you guys can do this too. This, yeah. What's stopping you from you doing this yeah. is you. Because we breathe, all, we breathe the same air. We all live under the same sun. Yeah, yeah, it all depends on how bad you want it, and how how disciplined you are. And discipline doesn't necessarily have to be a burden. Yes, you can right. work at discipline. Discipline is a habit thing, and you yeah. can formulate that habit just like how I help train people yeah. in in educating them as well. So one of the things I I always really stress with my clients is like, hey, just because I told you to take this supplement. Don't just say, oh, well, David told me to take yes. glutamine because of this. No, yes. no, 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 no. Educate you always, yourself. Yeah, know, you always know, tell me that. Know what, it is. Yeah. Right. know what it is that I'm giving to you. Right. Because for one, you're going to make my job easier. Two, you know. Yeah. You know, you, you yes. know, oh, well, my trainer said to take this. No, buddy. No. Well, that's the way I am. You're going to tell yeah. me to take something. I'm going to go research it. And the beauty, we're right now, we're in the golden age of technology as far as information goes, where you can go and, and, and Google this stuff and check it out to make sure it's legit and you can find uh, reputable sources. And that's yeah. not to do always because not every, everyone thinks er, uh, everything on the internet is true. It's not. You have to get yeah. reputable sources. What is your source? And that's why I always say, look it up, man. Look it up and make sure your source is reputable. Yeah. If not, it's trash. And you always tell me that. So um, last thing, and I want, we're going to wrap this up because I know, uh, Speaking of supplements, um, you are now doing some stuff, and I don't know how much you can actually share um, about uh, this supplements that you're going to be a company that you're going to be working with, um, and you can with share. Alchemy Labs. Yes, okay. I can. <laughs> Got it's, it. it's a, yes, it's official. I am one yeah. of the ambassadors for Alchemy Labs. Yeah. Uh, in the past, I I did use some of their supplements, and I have uh, to. I started. Yeah, I, I, I started using uh, supplements from another company because I was obligated to do so. I'm not going to say yep. the name. Yep. Uh, but I was, I, I certainly feel that it was fate that I got connected with them because I like their product so much. Right. And now they want me part of their team. And I'm like, wow, this is, again, I, I think yeah. everything happens for a reason. 
their That's products true. are very good and i use their products already and you yeah. uh it seems like you use a couple of I their, their products too i had so no idea i mean yeah. it's 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 a good company again yeah. reputable source yeah 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 so i definitely i i i uh, have been using alchemy products for probably a couple of years uh not knowing uh, i didn't know the uh, connection with the actual owner of the company come to find out there's like a, a third party that I actually know that knows the owner or is actually dating yeah. the owner. I don't know. There's a connection yeah, there. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And now uh, she's you, the one that did the video. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's, uh, she's really good. Absolutely. Uh, and I, and if you are at the gym, you might have bumped into him and don't even yeah. know who he is. Yeah. Uh -huh. but he, <laughs> yep. So but I, yeah. I'm very, I'm very excited about it. And that's the way I am too. Whenever yeah. I believe in something, I actually use it. I try to spread the word. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's the right thing to do. It's the human thing to do. Because if you want your society to, su to succeed and the people yeah. around you to flourish, it's going to only help elevate yourself too. So look at the positive sense that yeah. don't be selfish with this stuff. Yeah. Share the wealth because we will all lift up. Because I can guarantee you, if you're lifted up by yourself, you're going to be lonely and you're yeah. going to have nothing but haters. I mean, yeah. guaranteed you're gonna have haters and everything that you do, but you, there's just gonna be more hate. And who who wants more hate? Not me. Yeah. So I, you, I you, you you are obligated as a humanitarian to give back whatever information you have that's that works and that's positive. You have yeah. to give it to those that don't know because we can all succeed and unite as a nation if we yeah. do it that way. Dude, there is no better way to end then that I completely agree with you. Uh, part of the reason why I even do this podcast is try and get people on like you. Uh, like I don't get paid to do this. <laughs> I do it because I enjoy, first of all, I enjoy people that I get right. to talk to, but it's to get information like, and people like you to come on and, and educate people, right? This is just so freaking important. And I am 1000% with you on giving back. Like the more you give, and it seems that people get so tight it's completely opposite of what most people think. Yeah, Don't it really more. is. The more you give, the more you get. I mean, it's I. It's that's, true. It's so true. That's it's that's easy. the that's the law of the universe. Yeah. There's occasionally you got selfish people. Yes, that that flourish in whatever industry it might be. That is not the norm. It's people that give, 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 give with no necessarily expectation of getting something back. That's the big thing, uh, and that's hard for people to just do it without expectation back but i think that's one of the big keys uh to uh, to it is is just giving with no expectation of anything in return yeah and karma call, call call it what you want karma blessings all whatever you yeah. want to call it i'm a huge believer in it and uh and i appreciate for you uh for you coming on here and and Thank educate you. so for people to reach out to you we've got uh facebook uh david lovelace on facebook on instagram you are at the David Lovelace um, email, David. If y'all have questions, please. Fitness, nutrition. This guy is amazing. Uh, you will not find anybody more knowledgeable about this. And uh, David, like I appreciate you. You have been a blessing to my family for years now, uh, and my kids. I'm truly blessed all, with the information all, all that I, I've been attaining. <laughs> and, and my kids. Uh, the funny thing is, is you may not know this. So when we work out, my my kids don't necessarily enjoy the workout all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but during the week, hmm. yeah, go figure. Uh, during the week, <laughs> they're always talking about David. So okay, <laughs> okay, can. cool. So uh, you got a lot of love in my household. But yeah, guys, please reach out to David. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, he's got so much information to share. If you want a personal trainer, nutrition trainer, call him. He's excellent. I'm, 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 I'm a testimony for this. So nutrition uh, is the David, key. Nutrition, no question about it. So I appreciate you, brother. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this again uh, soon. And uh, if there's anything, as you start to get more information on the the the, um, the supplements and things like that, we have to have you come back on and, and share some more information on that. But I appreciate you. And sure. uh, you guys go go check David out Instagram. Uh, also make sure you go check out Houston Business Podcast also on Facebook and Instagram as well. And we will catch you guys on the next episode of Houston Business Podcast. Peace, guys. I have a good one. All right, take